Joining us now is the CEO of Rockwell Automation, Blake Moret. Blake, good to have you on the show again, and congratulations on another strong quarter. Uh, tell us what drove momentum for your company last quarter. Well, it's a gradually uh, recovering economy. Uh, certainly, uh, we, uh, like others, have been affected by uh, really uh, uncharted territory across the multiple industries that we serve. But the general picture is that industry is recovering, and we're seeing that in sequential growth in sales, as well as uh, uh, improving orders that went through the last quarter and into this quarter. Um, I want to switch gears for a moment and and talk about sort of the, the political landscape at the moment with President-elect Biden. Certainly when he was on the campaign trail, he talked a lot about the importance of manufacturing. I'd imagine uh, that's when your ears really perked up. What are your expectations uh, for a Biden presidency in, in your industry in particular? Well, we are encouraged uh, that uh, that he talked a lot about the importance of U.S. manufacturing, which is really at the vital core of the American economy. And I think we've all seen that. Uh, and because we serve industries across the spectrum of manufacturing and production, from automobile manufacturing to life sciences, creating medicines, food and beverage, and oil and gas, across all of that, when we hear about a focus on strengthening the U.S. industrial economy, that's good news for us. For sure. And we know that this pandemic has left, uh, has sort of highlighted pain points, if you will, for a number of, of different companies and different industries that left manufacturing supply chains very vulnerable. Have you seen or are you seeing that trend where more companies are bringing the workforce here within North America and moving supply chains closer to home? What we're really seeing is uh, companies across the spectrum focusing on resilience, agility, and sustainability. And resilience can take a lot of different forms. As you said, it can be to reduce single points of failure. If they find that their manufacturing is leveraged too heavily on one plant in one part of the world or on component supply from one vendor, then they're looking at decreasing that single point of failure. And in some cases, that includes reshoring or nearshoring. And we're definitely seeing some examples of that in life sciences, in semiconductor, and some other industries. But I think the central theme is companies are making investments. We are ourselves as a manufacturer in our own right in reducing our dependency on any single point of failure, increasing the traceability that we can achieve watching our products across the supply chain, remote operations to decrease the number of different people that have to be physically right next to each other when commissioning or troubleshooting equipment. So all those things are good positive trends for us. But Blake, might companies be less likely to bring workers back to the U.S. because Biden might not uh, lean on tariffs in the same way President Trump has? You know, I, I think, um, and we certainly advocate for free and fair trade and to be able to level the playing field in a way that American manufacturers can compete and win, we're going to have to find ways to strengthen U.S. manufacturing and create an environment where manufacturers can thrive. And that includes, obviously, some policy, workforce development, uh, and continued innovation, which probably in the end is the most important of all. All right, Blake Moret, CEO of Rockwell Automation. Always a pleasure. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me.